This is Matt Rosier, Dean of the Sigmund Weiss School of Business at Susquehanna University. Today we're going to go through a game theory problem played by a sequential game, completely fictitious, uh, used as an exam question in my undergraduate game theory class. Game played between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So they're both running for president. This uh, question was given before the first exam. We're saying they're preparing for the first debate. Now, I'm going through this answer after we saw the debate, which is kind of interesting. Um, but you know, this one's, you know, fictitious. We're just thinking through a problem, what they might be thinking. So suppose that preparing for the debate is so taxing for each of them, you know, they are in their 70s, they can only come up with one plan and has to hope it works. Suppose that when preparing for the debate, Trump can choose the strategy confrontational or the strategy, strategy conciliatory. Um, watching, I think we all know what he chose. When preparing for the debate, Biden can choose the strategy appeal to center left or the strategy appeal to socialists. These are the decisions made, these, these are made before the debate begins and given the intense preparation time cannot be changed during the debate. So the sequence of move is, moves is as follows. Trump and Biden choose their strategies going into the debate. Then they see, you know, how they're playing during the debate, but they can't change those initial strategies. They're stuck. But in a weird fluke, the debate moderator only allows Joe Biden to deliver a final statement. Biden can play a strategy called Trump dangerous, or he could play a strategy called Trump incompetent. Payoffs change based on uh, the choices of the players in the game. And there's a table that shows the electoral college results. It says write out the game in extended form. That's part one using a tree diagram. Okay, so Biden and Trump are playing. Um, so we'll have Biden go first, even though um, we know initially, actually, it does, we will see it doesn't matter who goes first on here because it's simultaneous. So Biden can appeal to center left. So we'll say center left. Um, or Biden can play socialist. Trump can play the strategy um, confrontational or conciliatory. So confront or conciliatory, confront or conciliatory. And these are made simultaneously. So Trump doesn't observe what Biden does. So we have to put an information set around Trump's choices. Trump won't know if Biden is center left or socialist. Now, Biden sees all of this. Biden knows what he chose. Biden knows what Trump chose. And then Biden gets to choose whether to say call Trump dangerous or incompetent. Whoa. So Biden choose dangerous or incompetent Biden again and he does see these choices so there's no information set this is the tree diagram um, an accurate depiction of what this the, this game would look like with the tree, tree tree diagram without the payoffs, and we simply go into the table uh, that was provided to write in what the payoffs are for each of these eight possible outcomes, and we put them at the bottom. It is worth noting, right? Um, so this is the first is Biden's payoff, and the second is Trump's payoff. It is for uh, those who aren't familiar with the U.S. electoral process, uh, 538 total electoral votes. You need a majority of them. So 270 gets you to the majority. Do 
270 to 268 is the smallest margin you can win by unless unless votes are going to some third party. So I'm just continuing to fill in the numbers from each of the eight possible outcomes, and these were given right in the table. And this is part A of, uh, of the test question. It said write out the, the game in extended form using a tree diagram. Uh, the second part actually says use backward induction to simplify the game. Um, what is the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium if one exists? Okay, well, Biden makes these choices. We have these four subgames uh, towards the bottom where Biden chooses dangerous or incompetent to get the higher payout here. Right, 413 is better than 250. For the second, um, this other game where Biden chose center left, Trump chooses, chooses conciliatory, uh, Biden could get 260 or 326. Well, 326 is greater, so Biden would go with the strategy of calling Trump incompetent. Uh, if Biden chose socialist and Trump chose confrontational, Biden could choose dangerous or incompetent. 338 versus 280. Um, well, 338 is higher. Choose dangerous. And if Biden chose socialist, Trump chose conciliatory, Biden um, could get 244 or 266. Well, 266 is higher. Biden would choose incompetent. Now it's worth noting that the game is come up simultaneous game, right? Because we could simplify. We know that for when Biden chooses center left or socialist, Trump chooses confrontational or conciliatory. We know what the four choices Biden would make after that. So we know the exact payouts in here. And this is a case where it makes a little bit more sense actually to convert it into a um, payoff matrix to see what is the Nash equilibrium. And given that we've had to reduce what is the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium of this game. Okay, the next step is to put things into a payoff matrix. So for this, um, I'm going to put Biden. Biden will be the role player. Biden, remember, can go center left or socialist. Trump is the column player, confrontational or conciliatory. And the four payouts that we're looking at here. We don't have to necessarily put this into a payout matrix. I just think it's easier when you're dealing with a two by two simultaneous game payoff matrices just make things a little bit easier to see exactly what's going on here. And with this, then we can look what is the Nash equilibrium of this, of this game, right? And we see right away that Biden, whose payouts are listed first, right? Um, Biden payoff, Trump payoff, and recall these are in terms of electoral votes. So we're assuming they want to maximize even though really you get to the win with uh, 270. But Biden has a dominant strategy to choose center left. Right? 413 is better than 338. 326 is better than 226. Okay. Uh, Trump has a dominant strategy to go conciliatory once we are at this point. So the Nash equilibrium of the game then would be Biden center left, Trump conciliatory. And going back to our payout, our uh, table from before, we we know that when Biden chooses center left, Trump chooses conciliatory. Biden will then call Trump incompetent, and that's how we get to this payoff. But that's the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium of this game. Biden chooses center left. Trump Trump chooses conciliatory. Remember that Biden observed that, and in the closing statement, would say Trump is incompetent. 
and this is the projected electoral votes. Remember, everything in here is completely fictitious in terms of the payouts and the possible strategies, but hopefully you found this is an interesting game to learn about sequential games and solving for the subgame perfect Nash equilibrium. Once again, my name is Matt Rosu, I'm Dean of the Sigmund Y School of Business at Susquehanna University. Have a great day.